Hello and good afternoon. This is Ute from Ute's Herbal Witch Corner, your local master herbalist. Before I start my education video from today about peppermint tea, please like, comment, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much. So let me just pour my tea. This is pure, fresh peppermint tea. Let me just, before I start, take a sip. Even the smell, the ar ar aroma <laughs> is delicious. Ah. Yes. Okay, so I thought today I'm talking about not any unusual herbs you may never heard from. I'm talking about peppermint tea, fresh leaf peppermint tea. So, stay. <laughs> so, may you would say, Pah! I can buy all the teas um, Ute is talking about in the store as well. Of course you can, but for my opinion, and I'm not talking any store uh, about any store bad or whatever, but for my opinion, fresh herbs are always the best. Um, these are the peppermint leaves and you see how pretty they are looking and to show you the different I opened a bag from the store so I hope you can see the different let me get this up. you see this is the the tea I got out of the tea bag and these are the fresh leaves so I think let me see if I can put more light on it. Yeah, you can see the different. So the left side is fresh herbs, fresh peppermint, and the right side is uh, the tea I took out of a tea bag like this. So the end of the day, it's up to you, um, but I prefer, of course, because I know I grow the herbs by myself and we have them in our backyard on our little farm to the right from the house, to the left from the house, because peppermint or mint, you can grow nearly everywhere. And they are coming um, over and over. And if you plant just a little baby or even you, um, start growing herbs from the seeds from the year before maybe so it's it's starting like this and then it's multiplying themselves so you need a lot a lot of space if you want to start um, growing mint or you have to calculate this is getting really really big all right so um, peppermint herbal organic tea and we're talking here about 50 gram bag as always my teas are in 50 gram bags and peppermint tea has really a powerful effect may we are not paying so much att attention to peppermint tea because it's so yeah so usual like black tea peppermint tea chamomile tea so yeah we all know about it but may we don't um, appreciate all the benefits from the peppermint tea for example, um, peppermint tea in the morning calms down your stomach nerves and has many other um, benefits. Just a little cup of peppermint tea. And the good thing is on peppermint tea, and I grew up with this from... 
you remember I talked about the grandma from my father's side. She's the one she teach me everything about herbs and she also teach me the card reading. And she always had in the summertime back in Germany, she had peppermint tea, fresh made, um, and she served it to us kids, to myself and my sister, always cold for the summertime. And this is so delicious if it's cold and outside it's hot when we went to the pool or to the lake in Germany with grandma. She always had um, a bottle or I don't know how you call it, a jug um, full of ice cold peppermint tea. And it was so delicious. And I'm still making myself in the summertime ice cold pe peppermint tea and I take it with me to work because it's better than it tastes more and is better than water, um, has good taste and it's on the side effect is it's healthy as well. But you can drink it cold and hot. So it's totally up to you how you prefer to drink your tea. But the option is there. So in Europe, and I was born in Europe, in Germany, as you know, um, it's mostly um, used to reduce... Um, no, it helps you, helps you when you have a tummy ache or anything. And this is mostly the reason in Europe, um, because it helps you the digestive problems or if you have a cold. So it's another herb, peppermint, you can drink hot or cold if you have a cold or cold symptoms like stuffy nose or running nose or... You know what I'm talking about. On the other side, in North Africa countries, mint tea is popular to drink and is drunk throughout the whole day. That's what I was doing when I was growing up with grandma. She always had ice cold peppermint tea available for us kids. So it's a different use, as I said, in Europe more for if you have a tummy issue or you're not feeling well. Um, or you eat too much and you are so, oh God, I'm so stuffed. Then a peppermint tea, a nice hot cup of peppermint tea will help you there. Um, it's, as I said, it's the perfect summer drink, but you can also enjoy the smoothing tea in cooler months. So as I, exactly what I said. So in summertime, put some ice cubes in it or make the tea before, the day before, fill it up in bottles and go ahead and put it in the fridge. So it's available for you and it's tasty and it's nice and cold and it's a ref refreshing um, drink for the summertime or even if you don't like hot tea, uh, but you like the benefits from peppermint tea, then you can, as I said, make the tea before, a couple hours before, the day before, fill it up and put it in the fridge and you have a fresh, cold, refreshing tea for the next day. Um, so a cup of peppermint tea in the morning, and this is kind of a secret tip, a cup of a peppermint tea in the morning, uh, it's helping you to get your circulation up and running. It's like, so hello, wake up. <laughs> so a nice cup of peppermint tea in the morning. You don't have to have any breakfast before. Just drink your cup of tea before you go, you know, go to work or get ready for work or for me in the nighttime. Um, it helps your body, the circulation to wake up and get ready for the whole day. All right, one second. And you know what? It's delicious. When you take a sip and you can smell the mint, the peppermint, which is kind of a opening your nose. And what I have done as well, what you can do with peppermint tea, you put the peppermint tea in a bowl and put the tea in there, really hot, 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 hot water, and put your head above, a towel around your head, so you can, you get all the good benefits from the peppermint uh, in this bowl and you can like steam. So everything is getting um, 
unblocked, your nose got unblocked and it's even good for your skin. But this is just one of the things. So you can drink it hot, you can drink it cold, you can make yourself some kind of spa, put it in a in a bowl, hot, hot, hot water on top and then put your head above and cover your head with a towel and it helps you clean up your nose and you, may you have some headache, it will help you as well. So it's kind of little of spa tea. <laughs> um, and besides you drink it in the morning to get your cir circulation up and running, uh, the refreshing effect of the men mental, menthol, this is what I said, the mental, when you smell it, um, is stimulating your blood circulation. So it's exactly what I say. Your circulation is starting up and running as you are up and running for the for the start of the day. So you can drink the hot peppermint tea um, with honey in it. Uh, today I did not put honey in it and I can drink it and you don't see any reaction in my face like Ugh. that's not bitter it's peppermint tea it's nice and the taste the aftertaste is perfectly fine reminds me like you can buy the bubble gum the peppermint the green one or the spearmint the white one it's exactly the taste and maybe you have I don't want to say you have a bad breath but you feel the freshness in you know the freshness from the peppermint if you drink um one or two sip it's totally fresh i don't know if this would help if you eat garlic i love garlic um but it may it helps i need to try the next time i'm eating garlic um but this really if you take a breath now it's totally open everything and you you can relax you can feel the freshness as i said i repeat myself you feel the freshness of the peppermint and as i said if you don't like the pure peppermint as i did with the other teas and the other videos um i i put always a little bit of honey in it but here in this one i did not so may you don't have to um let's see we have and let me show it to you again. This is the peppermint. And let me try to put, I'm waiting for the light. So <laughs> this is the peppermint tea. Now I lost everything. Um, sorry about my handling with the torch, but I'm waiting for my light so you can have a better view of my products. And it's coming, it's on the way. So the next video will be bright. And you will say, whoops. <laughs> um, so we have, um, it's not just peppermint. Um, we also have chocolate mint. There are so many different kinds of mints from the mint family. So I have chocolate mint as well, um, but not filled up as a tea. Uh, it's dried and it's ready to make some tea or maybe even tinctures. Um, I don't know, I will see. So it's just to give you an idea about six I have in my mind, six different min mint sorts. It's chocolate mint, then there's apple mint, banana mint. I don't know if I would like the taste of a banana mint cup of tea. I, I like bananas, but not so often, maybe once or twice per year. I think it would not be my taste, the banana mint tea, but it's definitely up to you. Then there is lavender mint tea, there is grapefruit mint, and there is also ginger mint. So ginger mint, um, I will see if I can get some seeds so I can start growing it. Otherwise, an alternative would be if you put in your normal cup of tea or in the pot with the leaves in it, May you just put one or two um, pieces of fresh ginger in it and then the taste would be the same, I think, the same as it is when I 
find some seeds for ginger mint otherwise it would be an alternative i don't have my mint right now here but i think the combination between peppermint tea and ginger would be very very tasty um as i said i try to find some seeds um or to start growing ginger mint but i don't know if it's available i know we, uh, there is some kind of different mints and for example the ginger mint i have chocolate mint outside we have crabfruit mint outside um but we don't have ginger mint so i will make my research but the alternative is if you want a peppermint tea and you want the taste of ginger just take one or two slices of fresh ginger in your pot when the tea is steaming and then you have the taste i will try it later on but now i have just my peppermint tea beautiful color a delicious taste all right so i thought this would be a short uh, education video because we are just talking about peppermint tea but you know me i'm talking and talking and talking and now i have to stop <laughs> um so this was for today my education video about the peppermint tea and the different um benefits of the peppermint tea the different ways you can enjoy the peppermint tea um of course we have peppermint tea in our shop here uh, we also have it on our website on the online store if you have any question or any um need you want to talk to me give me a call write me a message <laughs> um, i'm always here for you and i always will, will find a solution together with you which benefits just you and your health if you're talking about tea plants i can make special tea plants i can make special tinctures capsules whatever you want to um try out or you think it will benefit your own health all right yes i'm sorry i cannot skip this <laughs> i am not a doctor i will not and i cannot give you any medical advice all my experience i'm sharing in this education video is from myself my customers my clients my family my friends but this is not any in any how in any way a medical advice all right so tomorrow is uh martin luther king day so most of you are not working i'm going to work tonight again for my night shift if you have off tomorrow enjoy the day enjoy the weather because we are supposed to get from wednesday to thursday heavy 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 snow so if you need some tea before the snow hits us come over visit our shop and get your herbs you need before the snow is coming down as they are talking about i don't know i think not just inches so if it's coming yeah we we have a little bit to do and shoveling the dry face and all this f fancy stuff. All right. So as always, thank you for watching our YouTube channel. And as I said, please sub subscribe, comment, or um, talk about our channel, about our education videos. I will see you soon, I think tomorrow. And I will try now and I finish this video and put some ginger in my peppermint tea so I can share the taste and how it was in my next video. All right. As always, stay warm, stay healthy. This was Ute, your master local herbalist from Ute's Herbal Witch Corner. I hope you have a pretty, pretty nice Sunday afternoon and see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.